package in the mail, and we're going to open it together. Pretty sure I know what it is, but we're still going to open it together. Um, I don't know where I have put my scissors. And so we're just going to, whatever. <laughs> we're just going to tear into it. Ruining and eating pins for the greater good. <laughs> Ta -da. Okay. So I absolutely love these business cards. Look at you guys. Mixed media girl. And I think it's cool that she has the UR code that you can scan the QR code. Um, and the back side is one of her pores. It's really cute. So she sent me some extras. It's awesome. Since I do have several pieces of hers now. Doo -doo, where did my ink pen go? Come here, ink pen. We're utilizing you today for non-ink pen-like activities. Note to self, don't open package without having scissors or knife, but that's okay. So she definitely wrapped it really well. And here it is. I have wanted this piece from her since one of the very first videos that I watched of hers. Um, I actually did not get to see the video where it was porn. I don't remember that video. But I saw the video where she painted on it. Um, and this is a saw blade. It's a really good size one actually too. Um, and so I won this during her auction. And I was really gung-ho about getting this piece because since the beginning I was planning on buying it. But then when she put it up for auction, I knew it was my last chance to get it. Um, and I guess, aside from the fact that it's her art, it's one of the first videos I saw of hers. Aside from that, it also is a sentimental um, value. Growing up, my father painted on a lot of saw blades, he painted on the back of cast iron pots and pans, and then they would hang them up. Um, so I always remember, always, even at my mom's parents' houses, his parents' house, just everywhere, I always remember painted saw blades. Um, and that brings back a lot of the reason I started loving art. So, when I saw this piece, I knew that I really had to have it. It just, it felt like home to me, if that makes sense. This piece kind of encapsulated everything about what started me loving art and crafty things. And it just felt like a piece of home. So, I really, really had to have it. Um, so, I'm super excited to have it and I'm kind of hoping that Marcy watches this and that way she'll maybe know a little bit more about why this piece was so important for me to have and I'm so glad I have it and it will be on my wall and when I get everything else unpacked from the move and get kind of settled then I'll let you guys see my wall um, I do have an entire room here now that the walls are fellow artists. Um, I don't have any of my art on the wall, it's just other artists that I have art from to show off their work. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'm sorry this is a little longer than I expected, but this piece really meant, it really meant a lot to me. And I'm super glad that I actually got it. There were so many people bidding on it and I gave myself a budget going in and I went over that budget, but 
I really had to have this piece. So I'm super glad and I just wanted to kind of show it off to all of you guys. So that was our mail call for the day. I hope you guys enjoy and in the comments below kind of let me know what got you started on art or got you interested in art. Or, you know, if you don't do art, what got you interested in watching the kind of art that I do. So just let me know.